Congratulations to the Hall. Bringing in Tex and Monty is just a great, great event. The Moncrief family have been great citizens of Texas. They're the epitome of the wildcatter, the epitome of success, but they also are the epitome of a great Texan that serves his community and serves the state. Their interest in philanthropy has been noted over and over again. Tex and Monty, welcome aboard. I'm glad old Red finally got on the same stage with you. The wildcatters of the early Texas oil boom talked of a fever in the earth, great pools of oil ready for the right man to find them. Monty Moncrief was the right man at the right time in January 1931 when the FK Lathrop No. 1 came in. He made sure his young son was on hand for the excitement. Then it gave a pretty good little burp and, uh, and it, it shot out about uh, 15 or 20 feet and started making oil and gas floating off of it. And then all of a sudden with a roar, it just shot out clear across the slush pit and uh, oh, I guess 30 feet at least, and it was making 18,000 barrels a day. And about that time, I tugged on my mother's coat, and I said, Mother, when I grow up, I want to be an oil man. Monty and Tex Moncrief, father and son, had a gift for making history. The son is still doing that today. Tex Moncrief is, is, is the ultimate wildcatter. Ultimate wildcatter in that he's a risk management guy. His words is bond and his handshake's better than a thousand pages. Uh, Tex Moncrief tells you he's going to do something, you can count on it. Uh, as they used to say, if Tex Moncrief tells you it's Easter, you can dye your eggs. The Moncrief tradition starts with W.A. Monty Moncrief. The Lathrop well that he and partner John Farrell hit in 1931 was part of the fabled Black Giant, a 45-mile-long pool of oil in East Texas. By the time his son Tex joined the family business in the late 1940s, Monty Moncrief had made a fortune and a reputation as one of the great Texas wildcatters. My dad taught me to live right, think right, do right, be honest, truthful, law-abiding, and God-fearing, and make your word your bond, and be sure to save enough for anything, to pay for anything you go into. The lessons of the father took root in the son. W.A. Tex Moncrief Jr. carved out his own legend with spectacular finds from Texas to Wyoming. But he may just have topped them all at the age of 91. Well, I don't know that I can talk about it because it's like Vesuvius. It's just erupting all over the place. Actually, folks at Moncrief Oil love to talk about the Davy Jones Field off the coast of Louisiana, some 28,000 feet below sea level, and what could be one of the biggest natural gas discoveries ever made. Jim Bob and I have been known to drill an occasional wildcat. And uh, Jim Bob came up here one day and he had this Davy Jones deal. Tex said when he saw the, 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 the data on the Davy Jones and he and his ge geologists and engineers looked at the deal, uh, his response was, it's a wildcatter's dream. When he hit Davy Jones, which is of course named after a pirate, there's also a female pirate uh, well that they're going to try to look at and that's, her name is Swan. And so for his birthday, I dressed up like a pirate and I was swan, and I arrived with a bottle of Crown Royal because that's what Tex likes to drink, and I, his, all his family was at the office, and the pirate arrived, and he loved it. With all of his success, Tex Moncrief has continued his father's tradition of giving back. They've been invaluable citizens over many, many years, and of course they, they, they're among the I'd say, if not the founding members of Fort Worth, they're close to being some of the most, some of the most important people we've had in the city of Fort Worth. He's extremely generous. Uh, people don't always see that in him because he's gruff and he's, you know, all business, but he's really not. If you really have need and, and when people are in trouble, he is always there. Tex Moncrief, you know, he's got to give something back. Texas University and all the great uh, things about the public school system, 
is the reason why Tex Moncrief was able to, to, to take uh, the Moncrief family's uh, legacy and, and, and build it even bigger and better because he was, a, was, was prepared to do it. Tex Moncrief is the prototype. There's a lot of great people in the business, Texas Business Hall of Fame. But I can tell you that if anybody uh, meets the requirements of being in the Hall of Fame in Texas, Texas Moncrief and the Moncrief family are what Texas is all about.